other news that uh, or entertaining uh, stuff that happened this week in the world of Automeers. Automeers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Rick Ross has gotten himself into a <laughs> bit of a squabble with uh, Nico. They got real beef. It looks like it. So there was a um, – Rick Ross did a, a Forbes sort of like profile. And they've been doing a lot of these now. And uh, he showed us some of his cars. Uh, they talked to him about like his career. And then they got into watches. Yes. And so he ended up showing this beautiful 41 millimeter Audemars. Audemars. Audemars Piguet. Uh, Royal Oak with green sapphires yes, all throughout the watch. Now, when I saw this, I, I thought it was interesting. I said, wow, okay, he got his hands on this piece. Fire. Yeah. Said it was worth $3.2 million. Yes. In, in, in one, one way or the other, it is. In one way or the other, sure. <laughs> uh, and then, so, Nico, and um, you might know Nico. He is a... Uh, Watch collector um, also has his own show on YouTube and various other platforms where he reviews watches and he calls people out when they wear fake timepieces. Mm -hmm. So Nico comes out and says, Ross, bro, I just made a video about your insane green AP. Unfortunately, it's fake. Why are you flaunting fake watches? There's only one of these watches in the world of 41 mil. And there's another one in 37. There's more coming in the future, but because of the complexity and the difficulty to find these stones, there's currently only one in the world. Can you explain me this, Rick Ross? Why is there a photo here with my name, Nico Leonard, and the photo of that exact watch? That's the real deal. And you have a fake. The real owner sent me this photo, and you have a fake watch. Why are you flaunting and saying that that watch is worth 3.25 million, man? Is a Fugazi. Yeah. Got him with the foof. Got him with the foof. I didn't expect Rick Ross to respond. Oh, I definitely did. You did? Yeah. And the only reason why is, well, I mean, I'm a big ass Rick Ross fan. I love I Rick was, Ross. I was hoping he did, but I expected him to respond because Nico has such a big following. He really does. He, he wasn't going to let that slide. No. So Rick Ross responded almost immediately, maybe just a couple of days later. Yeah. And for the little fat guy in the one cubicle office speaking on watches. Speaking on Rick Ross and his Audemir. It's unbelievable, isn't it, fat guy? Little piglet. Oh, those emeralds are so rare. Hey, little piglet. Hey, huh? Come on, piglet. A mother in a cubicle could say, hey, Rick, the phantom's not real. Rick, that was stolen. Shut the fuck up, piglet. He huh? Uh, calling Nico Piglet. But then did a hee-haw. Like <laughs> you don't let it slide because it was funny, but yeah, it was a long sound effect. Um, but uh, he didn't address the situation. Yeah. Um, do you think that he knew this watch was inauthentic? I think he may have just gotten sold. Mm. Whoever, whatever jeweler he got it from just really was like, yo... This, that, and the third about this AP. Yo, look at it. These crazy suitcases. We got the we got the green joint. Yeah. This yeah. how much they're going for. Yeah. And you know, he he fell in love with it he, with his new Audemir and he copped. I think that's that's yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. So but I do think, sorry, I cut you no, off. No, please. I do think he may have done some educative research after the Nico video. And I think that's why he didn't say nothing about the watch specifically. I also know, I also seen he hasn't worn the watch since. Yes. Yes. So here's the thing. We talked about, we talk about bust downs occasionally. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't doubt that the watch is an authentic Audemars Piguet watch. Yes. I don't even doubt that the sapphires or the green emeralds, whichever they are, oh, are oh. also real stones. Yes. The fact of the matter is, and this is something that's always constantly up to, for debate, is that, you know, it wasn't done at the Audemars Piguet factory. Yes. And so, therefore, it's inauthentic. Yeah. Um, my personal opinion, 
I think it would have been cool if Ross came out and said, no, I know this isn't the that, but I'm a fan of that watch. Yes. Yeah. So I asked my jeweler to customize my AP and make that watch. Yes. Yeah. I almost have no problem with that. I don't either, but so Nico, and actually Nico posted a video where he kept talking about the watch specifically after Ross responded. After yeah. he posted his little video in the, in the Rolls Royce. <laughs> um, and it was funny because someone who we also had beef with was Trax. And he oh, yeah. Tracks, <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yo, like, let's really look at this watch. Like, this case, this bracelet was not made by AP. No. He said the only thing that's probably real on this watch is the movement. Mm. So at that point, he Rick Ross might have just gotten got. Yeah. He just, he, like I said, he got sold on it. Listen, it can happen to the best of them. Yeah, I mean, it happened to little Baby and, you know, he they, they did him right. Yeah. Icebox did him right. It's just if, how does Ross recover from... I don't want to say the the embarrassment. I don't think he's embarrassed. I, just, I don't think like, he has anything to be embarrassed about. No, I don't about. think so either. I just think, you know, like, is he going to get his bread back for this watch? Definitely. Is he going to get something else? Like, what? Like, what's going yeah. on? Yeah. And But then how, and then how does he address that? Yeah. Does he, is there a truce to be called? Who mm. knows? Do they do they do a joint video? Does Nico yeah. face I would love Rose that. Because <laughs> <Yes. laughs> that I would, would be love that. fire. I think, I think the coolest thing, too, is um, that Nico Leonard is um, is kind of attacking Rick Ross in the uh in the same art as how he uh, as how Ross would in the hip hop world. There is a element to it that is very hip hop. It yes. reminds me of his uh of DJ Envious comments. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, and, so, and so for so many people that aren't familiar with the culture of watches, they may think that Nico Leonard is just this guy coming out of nowhere with no credibility yeah. to talk to Ross in this kind of right. manner. Yeah. And, you know, it's easy to get caught up in that until you think to take a few steps back to say, actually, you know what? Ross trolls how many other artists? All the time. How many other artists troll others and things like this? So this is actually a sport. Yeah. And it's it, fun. It's it, fun it, for, it, the, for us to watch. It it's it's fun for everyone to watch. I think that is 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 really, really cool to see, you know, Le Nico Leonard kind of stand his ground on this. Sure. He's not letting up. I think he's put out what, maybe about four or five videos. Crazy. Yeah. Like just going at him, yeah. And you know, to your point, Ben. Um, you know, Ross hasn't addressed the watch. Uh, I think there's some people now in this corner, like putting them on game. I hope so, and I think that's the biggest thing to you know to take from all this is that you know at some point everybody learns their lesson, mm -hmm. right? No one's exempt. And as much of a, a enthusiast or fan of watches that you know Ross may be I think you know and I hope that there's a valuable lesson here that he's learned and I'm sure he has just in terms of um you know why factory is seen as king nothing wrong with customization yes but if the person who dealt him this watch was positioning it as like hey this is one of those yeah it's one of those situations yeah. where you'll very quickly find out that like yeah. hey that's not exactly the case. Yes, like that is a piece unique. That's definitely something that watch collectors, the guy who owns it, and Ross for himself after he found out what he found out should definitely have beef with. Cause you're trying to recreate a one of one. Yeah. Right. Or technically a one of two, because the watch comes in a thirty seven also. Yeah. It just means you have a fake watch. Right. Yeah. Um so I think to like you guys were saying, now that he hopefully has people his corner educating him, I think there will be some more fun, entertaining videos to come. Yeah. Sure. Hopefully with the two of them together. Uh the one thing I have to say about Nico that I personally didn't think was fair was when he came at like Ross's old videos talking about the watches that he had. Oh, because yeah. I mean like <laughs> being a rapper, musician, sure. especially the culture that we in, where he's from. That's just that's just what they do. Yeah. Especially yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. Not, but he got stuff now that's factory stuff that's good. Stuff oh, absolutely! It's yeah. very expensive, and the average Joe or even a millionaire can't really get because they don't have the type of access that he does. Right. So I think attacking the the early stuff, the bust down Cartiers and all that. I mean, when you in the industry, you, you got to have one. No, fact. It's like a rite of passage, but he he's come a long way from then. So he really has. You know, there was one other thing that I did consider, and I was like, however unlikely, 
we know how serious AP is about selling their watches. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I, I thought to myself, what if the guy that purchased the set actually ended up selling it? Then it winds up, it, maybe he doesn't even know who it went to. Yes. Winds up in, actually I think it was the Rob Report, not Forbes. Winds up in the Rob Report. Mm -hmm. He goes, Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody do something quick. <laughs> Nico has a relationship with Ross, knows the guy, and is like, we got you. Yes. Don't worry. Watch because we're gonna fabricate yeah, right? this whole thing. Yes. It's gonna go viral. Yes. He's gonna call me Piglet. He's gonna <laughs> order mirrors. I'm gonna shoot, you know, video in the back of my Maybach drinking champagne. We're gonna have a ball with this. Yes. But we're gonna protect that guy and we're gonna protect Ross. Yeah. Yes. And I was like, what if, what if that, what if that was the case? This is some Joe Rogan level conspiracy talk. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> that that'd be fire though. If that was really well. The thing is this too, to think about it, Ross was very comfortable to share this watch and to say that it was three million dollars. Like, you know, I don't think anyone in their right mind would flex like that with that level of the publication um to go publicly because they also did the interview like he was sitting on his clear port he's got his jet in the back he's like i'm mega rich yeah. i'm this i'm that and then credibility goes out the window yeah. because of this kind of like a piglet yeah <laughs> that's a piglet but at the same time what if ross is that thorough and he's like i got it don't worry it's yeah. fine Wow. He the biggest boss. He might be that thorough. <laughs> he might Yo, be. Yo, Ross, come on the couch, please. I'm saying. I love you. <laughs> yeah. I'm your biggest fan. Yeah. yeah.